With its new X-Class, Mercedes is breaking into a segment the German car maker has never tried before in a bid to attract new customers to the brand. A car tester says it's the first of its kind. Until now, Mercedes-Benz had never built a pickup truck. That changes with the X-Class. It's brawny, wide enough for a shipping pallet in the back, and sturdy enough to go off-road. This time, we'll test drive the production version. Mercedes already showed off its X-Class concept truck at the Geneva Motor Show last spring. Its aggressive design caught everyone's attention, with a huge grille, slender headlights, and flared wheel wells. Unfortunately, the production version is tame by comparison. Pinel says what jumps out are the Mercedes star and the radiator grille, the massive bumpers, and the wide toe, more than 1.6 meters, both front and rear. This not only gives the X-Class a beefy appearance, it also helps to stabilize the pickup on the highway. Off-road, the X-Class's ground clearance of more than 20 centimeters helps it stay out of trouble. A striking feature is the X-Class's grille. The production version has larger headlights than the concept. In the rear, the X-Class boasts vertical tail lights and a massive bumper. Reinhold says pickups have to be tough, whether they're going off-road or hauling heavy loads. The X-Class can carry up to 1.1 tons on its bed and tow up to 3.5 tons. The tailgate alone can withstand up to 150 kilograms. But despite all these talents, the two-ton truck drives almost like a car. The new X-Class offers a choice of two diesel engines. We tested the more powerful 140 kilowatt version. Mercedes rates fuel consumption at 7.8 liters for every 100 kilometers. The truck emits 207 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer, and the top speed is 175 kilometers per hour. Reynolds says the X-Class is more comfortable than its competitors, a big plus on longer journeys. What's unusual for Mercedes is the conventional handbrake and automatic gear selector lever mounted on the center tunnel. Typical for Mercedes are the air vent nozzles in the dashboard. In fact, the X-Class looks very refined for an SUV. What's more, it seats five people. And as luxurious as its interior is, the pickup can handle rough terrain with ease. Reinhold says it's time to see what the X-Class can do off-road. To find out, we took it to a special test track. The X-Class faces a tough climb and wades through water up to 60 centimeters deep. A 25-degree descent and 30-degree climb are sufficient for most construction sites and the boat ramp at the lake. All variants of the pickup come with rear-wheel drive and manual six-speed gearbox as standard. Switchable 4MATIC four-wheel drive is available at a surcharge for all engine types. The seven-speed automatic is only available with the current top model, the X250D, which we're testing. Mercedes Christian Pohl says the X-Class is a real off-roader and a real pickup, so 4MATIC is the perfect all-wheel drive system for off-road use. For more challenging terrain, it offers gear reduction as well as a differential lock, and that really pulls it through just about anywhere. And there's more power on the way for the X-Class. Next year, Mercedes plans to roll out a version powered by a 190-kilowatt, 3-liter diesel V6. Reinhold says the Mercedes X-Class adds new momentum to the pickup sector. Technically, the X-Class is a close relative of the Nissan Navara. It's built in the same Nissan factory in Barcelona, but the Navara is around 10,000 euros cheaper. He says he wishes the X-Class would have looked like the concept truck at the Geneva Motor Show. 
But even if the pickup could have been a bit more daring in its design, this latest Mercedes model is still bound to turn heads wherever it goes.